Hello everyone, welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator. On episode 1 we managed to purchase this used but very beautiful Scania bus and we brought it back to our company headquarters here in the beautiful island of Fort Ventura in the Canary Islands and uh, our first job I guess is about to take place so we have got to go into our office here and we are gonna see what jobs are available to us. This one is a short trip should just take 10 minutes from El Matoro um, airport or to the airport perhaps. It's going to gain us 500 euros. Not bad for 10 minutes work, although let's see the damage that we could cause. And um, this is the date and the time 9am. So this looks good to me. Let's click it and hold it. And so we're going to board our bus. We have our very own bus. Um, I parked it here, which seemed like a good idea at the time, but I think we'll be able just to back out into that space. We'll aim for that red concrete barrier over there. So let's get on, see if we can remember what the controls are. Before we sit down, we have to shut the door. Push C to sit down. We can put our destination on, which is destination 11 on the board at the front, so the good people of the island know where we're going. We're going to start the ignition. We'll hold the button to fire this thing up. I think what we should do is we should set the aircon. Actually, let's put the headlights on as well. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, there we go. And we should set the aircon to 20 degrees. I think that's fine. Is there anything else that we have to do? What's the fanfare? We obviously don't have that option here. Hold the brakes, pull the parking brakes, put it in reverse. Oh, we have a reverse camera, do we? Um, I can't see anything out of the reverse camera. Yeah, the field of view for that camera is kind of interesting. But we've got plenty of room back here. Okay, so the GPS has been set. Now we have to watch because um, the AI at the end of this street here where our office is, they do weird stuff sometimes. They're sitting here, are they letting me go? Like they sometimes pull it in front of us here so we've got to just be really careful with this. But yeah, they let us go there, which was nice of them. And we have some playing fields it looks like, a little football happening over there on the left hand side. Let's haul up here at the stop sign. I don't know if there's any police, so I don't know if it's a no cop, no stop type of rule, but let's not get on the wrong side of the law today. The AI are actually very good at stopping or driving really slowly past you. I noticed that the other day when we were picking up the bus from down at the docks. So I do appreciate that because some games the AI just absolutely come storming in and they don't give you space but here it's pretty well thought out. I mean watch this car here. It really slows down, grinds to a halt and we're not even really in his way. Now we need this Passat to come round the corner here. Oh boy. Technically I'm kind of close to these guys, but... There we go, that's maybe enough to shuffle the deck a little bit. Oh boy, look at this. Look at this craziness that's happening here. Oh. Is this caused by me? <laughs> My boss gets damaged, man. Okay, maybe I was just too close to that center line there and I just caused the AI just to go absolutely crazy. Right, so here's our bus stop. I really don't know how to get these passengers in here, so we're told let the passengers board and start your trip. The destination board needs to be active. We have that already, so we're going to put this into neutral, we'll pull the parking brake, we'll jump out of our seat. We'll open this door and will the passengers come aboard? They surely will. Let's get back in our seat then. Give them some space. Hello there. Hello. Wow, there's a lot of people getting on. A lot of people are putting their lives in my hands. 
Do they know this is the first time I've done this? Perhaps not. Hello, hello, hello to everybody. I feel a little bit of pressure here because, um... I've got all these people on board. So we'll let this blue car come past and we will pull out and head down the street. So the GPS is actually really good in this game. Um, probably better than the SCS ones, if I'm honest. It's very clear where you should be. I guess there's not multiple lanes here and multiple exits and things like that, but it's been really easy to follow so far. The thing I'm taking bad with is just the amount that you need to turn the steering wheel when you're on slow roads or doing tight turns, you really do need to turn the wheel a lot. I'm using uh, a steering wheel pedals, by the way. There isn't really any force feedback to speak of unless you sort of hit something or, you know, like hit a curb or something like that. So it's not like the wheel is really tight, it's quite over assisted, which is probably exactly the way it would be on a coach like this. And the other thing I'm taking bad with is just how you have to look so far over and so far up to look at the mirrors, but again, that's exactly the way it would be on this coach. I don't know if there's a way to find out if the customers are happy or not, like if we're late or we drive too slow or we brake too hard or anything like that. I'm not sure if that is a thing in this game, but um, we will find out perhaps at the end of our journey. Okay, we're at the airport already. I'm kind of straddling both these lanes intentionally because I don't know how tight this turn is going to be here. I know we're taking a left. Um, well, which one do we go on? So do we take a particular lane? I think we're going to take the... Oh, here we go. It's this dedicated lane over here. I can't see it for looking at it. This is where we go. And we can swing into the parking area for all the coaches. Look at all these coaches. Wow, this looks incredible. Here's the airport. Look at these things. Do we get to drive these at one point? These monsters would be, I think, hard to drive around this island. Check for people on the crossing. We seem to be good. It's a 30 speed limit here and we're doing, I think we're doing about 30. So we seem to be good. Um, and again, we should be in the bus lane. So let's do that. And we should be going this way. Oh, this is the part where we picked up the Range Rover, wasn't it? At this Oh, I've gone wrong there, I think. I think we should have been on the other loop, but we're okay. And we're going to take a sharp right there. Did we take a shortcut? Perhaps we did. And we are going to drive the bus into the space here. Let's put our four ways on to warn people. We'll do a little blast of the horn to let these folks know that we're pulling up. We'll just bring it in gently into this bay and I guess pull up just about there. Let's take the four ways off, put it in neutral, park and brake on, engine off and open the door and a whole bunch of other people are coming on board now. Okay.
we're good there. Check our mirrors. Four ways off again. On we go. I suppose you could overspeed and treat this like something that's absolutely crazy and go flying about, but actually it's quite hard to drive these things fast, if I'm honest. It's pretty sedate, pretty gentle thing to drive and it doesn't really want to push you to go in too fast, if I'm honest. Alright, so I thought we were taking people to the airport, but it looks like we're taking people from the airport, maybe into town, or something like that. Ooh, got a little frame rate issue there. We seem to be good now. Let's take this nice and wide, watch that curb, watch the corner of that building as well. Yeah, I'm noticing a few stutters there, and it could be just because I'm running this in 4K, and with everything maxed out, and I'm recording this at the same time. It could just be that the game isn't just maybe very well optimised for the latest graphic drivers and latest graphics cards and things like that. But I think we're doing pretty good here. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. Certainly these types of roads I feel better driving and easier driving. Um, there doesn't seem to be much traffic here. I think the game, as I go through both lanes and do something kind of jank, think the because this is the first mission as such there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of traffic if any on the roads at all which is really good so if you're thinking of picking this game up i would recommend it hit something. Wait a sec. Did I just hit that sign? I don't know if I damaged the bus. Oh, I did. I hit the sign. Okay, I have to be way more careful. So no visual damage to the bus. I don't think. Is that just dirt on the bus there? Um, but yeah, we'll have to take it easy when we're taking these corners. But anyone knows me from American truck or Euro truck will know I'm notorious for hitting road signs on corners. Right, so we go all the way around here. Yes, yeah, so if you're thinking of picking this game up and want a little bit of a, a new challenge and have some sort of different physics, then I would highly recommend this. This does seem like a lot of fun. I will show you a picture of the island map and show you the kind of scale of it. So we're going to let the passengers disembark. Have I done something wrong here? They're not getting off the bus. Um, Do, oh, maybe I need to open. Ah, I need to open the side door. This is what it is. There we go. They won't leave by the driver's door, of course. They'll leave by the passenger one. So there we go. There's everyone kind of scary coming off the bus. Do they look happy? Um, they look okay. They look reasonably happy, I would say. Just while they're getting off the bus, let me try and show you the map. So here we go. So our journey today was around about the airport. We started off in our base, which was, let me try and find it here. So we've really only explored, oh, there's our office here where the, the seat is. So we went from here down to the airport and basically 
just in this kind of zone here. So you can get an idea of the scale. Although I say the map isn't absolutely massive, it's just basically an island. It is a real life island, pretty big, and we've only ever explored this little area here by the docks. So there's a lot, lot more for us to have a look at. Oh, and there's a fast travel option there as well. So let's shut the map and everyone is getting off of the, the coach. I'm gonna have a look at these cars over here. There's another football pitch. Uh, we've got a Mercedes ML, obviously not licensed vehicles, so they just look a little bit like them. An Audi Q5, would you say? I would have thought Q5 would be a little bigger than that. What's this? BMW 5 Series, an E39, an Audi TT. Yeah, these vehicles look a little bit ropey, look a little bit sus up close. But that's okay. In the distance, they look absolutely fine. Buildings look good. The lighting looks good as well. This looks beautiful. I like the ambient sounds. I like the, the background noise of the winds and things like that because these are windy places, these little islands. And man, people are still getting off this bus. This is taking a minute. Okay, all stops have been approached. Passengers have been left at the stop and we now have to return to our company. So check that no one is on board this anymore. Hop on. And we got 257 XP. I assume we got the 500 euros. And uh, I'll leave you with a little time lapse of us returning back to the company. But I want to say thank you so much for joining me today on this little journey. Definitely pick this game up. I would recommend it. It's got a few flaws. There's a few little glitches here and there we saw something a little bit jank with the ai look at those palm trees waving in the wind the whole things are waving hypnotizing me there um but yeah generally speaking this is a good game if you're into your ses truck sims american truck euro truck and you want that little bit of bus action there are mods for it of course but this is a great dedicated bus game and i know my friend mo skinner highly recommends this one. Check out his channel. I'll put a link for that in the description. He's got lots of videos of lots of different trips around this beautiful island. We're going to do a little time lapse just now um, of me returning back to the headquarters. But thank you very much for watching and until the next one, take care.